and Isaac Balami. But just before he continues, one more time, can you please honor and celebrate Apostle one more time? I don't know why you keep giving me captain. Um, like I was saying, I came from an from a very, very humble background, so I'll make it very quick. Uh, I'm an activist, and then suddenly, after some SUG riot, I was asked to leave Abu's area. I was depressed. I felt like committing suicide, because that was the second admission I was losing, just fighting for people's rights. And then... About 16 years ago, in Abu's area at the chapel, Apostle saw me praying with my team about 16 years ago. And he said, Isaac, then I wasn't even given an admission yet into Aviation College. He said, I see aircraft. I see you going around the world. I see you doing great things in aviation. That was about 16 years ago because there's no way I can afford to pay millions of naira in the aviation college when I got the admission my parents could not afford to pay 10% of the, of the fee so I became the only self-sponsored making suya barbecue in Abu's area with my aviation uniform every evening I will make magdauda which is local bread for 10 naira plus some meat inside and that's how I was able, that's how I was, I was able to make about 300,000 Naira then every month after paying three of my staffs. And I sponsored myself until the third year when I had to read harder to pass my exam. I said, God, I need to get an international scholarship. And I said, if you can help me with a, with a scholarship, as soon as I come back to Nigeria, I will give half of my income to the less privileged. And within seven days, God answered my prayers. I got three scholarships international. It has never happened in the history of the Aviation College. I was in the college in Zaria. I was earning salary in dollars. The company from Canada and Aero Contractors paid my school fees in full. And they returned back every money I've spent in three years. Somebody celebrate this mighty God. He's a faithful God. Before I knew it, I got a house in Jerry, Ikeja, in Lagos. My flight ticket, everything paid for till I graduated. I went to the U.S., sponsored by the company CAC Canada and Aero Contractors. I came back, and just like the prophet did prophesy, in less than two years, at about 25, 26 years old, I had become the national president for all the pilots and all the aircraft engineers in Nigeria. It didn't just stop there. The then Sisila Ibru, who was the owner of Aero Contractors and Oceanic Bank, met me one day and I was able to get, the, get a contract for the company. And I was just a junior staff. And she ordered that I should be moved to the board. I should join the board immediately. Before I knew it, I became a manager, and virtually all my age mates in the industry, I gave them 24 years gap in earnings and in position. Before I knew it, I began to see some things in the industry when I go to bed. And uh, today, to cut the story short, when I started, I didn't have up to $2,000. And I said, I want to float an airline. And I said, I also want to have one of the biggest aircraft maintenance, repair, and overhaul center in the entire West and Central Africa. <laughs> I kid you not, just last two weeks, the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority gave me my operational specification.
They said initially you can't have this, it's too much. Nobody in West Africa has this kind of license and certifications and authorizations. I said, but my aim is to create jobs for the industry. Over a billion dollars is being spent every year flying aircraft to Europe, America to be fixed. And I stood and I thanked God for the Nigerian government, the aviation minister, the uh, DG of the civil aviation, and the director of airworthiness. They saw the vision. Just two months to closing it all, when I was getting ready for the phase four, which is the base inspection where the government need to see the equipment you have on each aircraft that you'll be fixing up to A, A B, C, D check inspection. And I was stuck. Some investors pulled out on me because they felt the vision was too big and they left me at the 11th hour with my team. And uh, I spoke to Apostle, I came to Abuja, I met with him, we prayed together. And I went back and within seven days, I got a phone call from Europe. And the man said that I'm the MD of this company. We are the biggest aircraft providers in the, across the entire Europe. We've heard so much about you. Please, we want to work with you. And uh, we want to start today. And um, I thought it was a dream. Maybe it was a scammer. It was a 419. The next thing, his team landed in Nigeria, they were in my office, and they said, as we speak to you right now, we have four 40-footer containers coming under your name. They said, as we speak to you right now, we wanted to partner with other companies, but we, were, we have been advised to partner with your organization because of your track record. This company is worth over 100 million euros. 100 billion euros. We didn't... 14 days, they used DHL to ship in equipment for aircraft maintenance worth over 5 million US dollars. So when the government of Nigeria came to inspect, they saw that we have every equipment tools. And this vision took me nine years, by the way. So in nine years, myself and my team, we've been able to train and empower and give authorization to over 65 aircraft engineers. Most of them, including myself, I trained in the U.S. Some have work experience with top airlines in the world. And today, I'm happy to say that in the next few weeks, we'll be launching one of the biggest aircraft hangar in the industry. Somebody, can you celebrate the name of the Lord? As if that is not enough, we were to float an airline, and I wrote the business plan registered the business about 10 million naira to register about 500 million share capital it takes a minimum of about one year averagely to get an air transport license we got ours in three months as if that is not enough somebody called me <laughs> the god of more than enough can we say The God of the overflow. Somebody called me and said, I saw on the media that you are floating the first ever premium airline with Wi-Fi on board and water view. He said, I've just bought seven aircrafts cash. Please, can you take them and run them? As if that is not enough. We serve the God that confirms the word of his servants and performs the counsels of his messengers. Can you celebrate the grace of God upon the Holy Spirit one more time? Hallelujah. Somebody said, since you have interest in the oil and gas helicopter business, he said, I'm meant to take these three helicopters out of this country. Each one is 22 million US dollars. That is, for, that is 66 million US dollars. Please, can you take them and run them? Just a few weeks ago, my vision has always been the same way I came from nowhere to get to where I am today. How can we raise aircraft engineers, pilots, avionics, and in different fields that with just two years training, they will be able 
to have a license and a certification that will earn them $10,000 a month. Just a few weeks ago, we got an approval, a letter, that the Lagos State Government and MBTE, that is the uh, Polytechnics, they have also allowed us to go ahead to start Seven Star Global Institute of Management, Science and Technology. The aim is to raise aviators and other people across different sectors. Why am I sharing this testimony? I'm not here to impress anybody. I was meant to do this a long time ago, but I always feel heavy, but I felt there's somebody out there who just feel like giving up. I can tell you categorically, nine years, even a pregnant mother, after nine months, if the baby is not coming out, she's agitated. Severally, I almost thought of committing suicide. Severally, I felt like leaving this country. But I said, no, God, you said I have a role to play in this country. Why should I leave? And just when I want to leave, I'll be giving offers across the globe, and then something says stay. I'm happy today that through the help of God, and even through the apostle, we are not just in Lagos Airport, we are occupying over 45,000 square meters of land. And we are growing very, very fast. I thank God, I give God all the glory, and I want to assure you that whatsoever it is that is your dream, no matter how big it is, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't allow friends and families or anybody to distract you. Remain focused. Trust in God. I'm happy I was able to achieve this with my team without joining any cult, without denying Jesus. Thank you very much. Can we rise to our feet and give praise to Almighty God tonight? Let's celebrate the name of the Lord. Somebody once said, when God does a thing, he goes into hiding to see what the sons of men will do. God has been faithful to us in Koinonia, and we are grateful people. Can we celebrate his name one more time with a shout of praise? Let these testimonies inspire you. A dream is a seed. When you keep following one course, the Lord will bring success out of it. Tonight is the night of somebody's testimony in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget to write down your prayer request. I'm given an admission yet into Aviation College. He said, I see aircraft. I see you going around the world. I see you doing great things in aviation. That was about 16 years ago. Because there's no way I can afford to pay millions of naira in the Aviation College. When I got the admission, my parents could not afford to pay 10% of the, of the fee. So I became the only self-sponsored, making suya barbecue in Abu's area with my aviation uniform every evening. I will make magdauda, which is local bread for 10 naira plus some meat inside. And that's how I was able, that's how I was, I was able to make about 300,000 naira then every month after paying three of my staffs. And I sponsored myself until the third year when I had to read harder to pass my exam. I said, God, I need to get an international scholarship. And I said, if you can help me with a, with a scholarship, as soon as I come back to Nigeria, I will give half of my income to the less privileged. And within seven days, God answered my prayers. I got three scholarships international. It has never happened in the history of the Aviation College.